I'll see you in the next one. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. Kid just rages for a while. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Wait, haven't I? Anyway, Rondi's place just brings back memories. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Shield saves his hide. Windbags start turning up for last call. start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. The kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. One long before.
before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Drops a scumbag of his last meal. Kid puts him out of his misery. Steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. Well, down he goes. Down toward the bastion. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. We talk for a spell. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right, except no one else showed up. <laughs> Just like that, the Bastion comes alive. 
starts growing again, growing stronger. Kids gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send them even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. Behold the Pantheon. Hensa. The gods never liked competing for people's affections. The kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. The Breaker Barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. Perfect shot just happens in a flash. Solid performance. Kid ain't had enough of the Breaker's Barracks. Takes practice, and a mighty strong bow helps too. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the Breaker's Challenge. The Workman Ward. Them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets, but which one? Keeps telling himself he better watch his step. Black gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. 
but it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. Is the whole place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. Hopes he'll never see one again. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is, the oldest scumbag of them all, Gershel. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out is right where he started. Inside the forge, Kid can fine-tune those instruments of his. He put some finishing touches on the business end of that thing. Arrows like that can practically find their own way. Ain't that the finest breaker's bow you ever seen? Now that's what I call a knife. back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. The windbags used to be all right, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again, only fair he decides what we build next. Life wine so rich, they say it's brought men back from the brink for one last taste. Thank <laughs> you. 